Hi, my name is Ananda Lee. I'm an author, an artist, a coach, an entrepreneur, and a yoga teacher. For the past two years, I've been conducting research for a project called Sisterhood the Blog, Soundbites from the 21st Century Women's Online Revolution. And this research project is turning into a fabulous new book that I will self-publish with your support in December 2011. Now this is what I'm trying to do with Kickstarter.com. I first want to thank you all for taking the time to look at this video. And now I want to explain what I'm using Kickstarter.com for. As you may probably know, self-publishing books can be a bit expensive. I've done two so far in the last three years, and I thought I would try something different on the third book. I thought I would use social media tools like Kickstarter.com and crowdsourcing, which is the support of all of you all, to create this fabulous new book. I want to use Kickstarter to raise money for the premier publishing package on iUniverse. That package right now is priced at $1,549. I'm raising a grand total of $1,600 to cover the cost of any mailings that I have to do. So, between now and next year, I'd like your support to help me complete my fabulous new book, Sisterhood the Blog, Soundbites from the 21st Century Women's Online Revolution. This book is a memoir about my digital sisterhood experiences and my insights from participating online and offline with women in the internet and social media for the past 24 years, and next year it will be 25. The book begins with a short story about my first time participating in the internet, which when I look back in my personal history, it was 1986. Yes, 1986, the same year that Oprah came on TV. I entered the internet, and it was through the LexisNexis Research Service at Howard University School of Law. I was a first-year law student, and I remember it, I remember it like it was yesterday. I was sitting in the law library at Howard on the Van Ness campus in D.C., and I had just come from a legal researching class, and my friend Lisa Randolph was sitting next to me, and we were told to do LexisNexis research. Well, I had no idea. I never went to the computer lab when I was in college. I was a French major at Morgan State University in Baltimore, and I stayed away from the business and the computer science uh, schools. They scared me. So Lisa had grown up as the daughter of an attorney in Cincinnati, and she knew exactly what to do. So it was with Lisa's help that I entered the world of the internet and started doing legal research. Well, two years later, my mother, Teresa Lee, who is one of my digital diva sheroes, she purchased a dialogue, dialogue service for research to complete her master's degree. At the time, I was in my third year of law school, and my mom let me come over to the house to do research that I couldn't do at the law school or in my part-time jobs because I just didn't have the time. So it was using that service for my last year of law school and then subsequently in my uh, graduate law studies at Georgetown University that I really developed this passion for the internet. So you get a feel for my journey online and then the people that I've met and the people that I've been inspired. And when I say people, I mean dynamic digital diva sheroes like Katherine Austin Fitz who was the first person to give me a digital diva type job in 1996 when she hired me to work as a knowledge manager and as a intellectual property manager for internet products and services for her own investment banking firm, Hamilton Securities Group. And then there were other women that I was inspired by, like Shereen Mitchell, who's founder of Digital Sisters, Aliza Sherman, who created the first three websites for women in 1995. It goes on and on to Donna Bird, who is the current publisher of the Root.com. Cheryl Mayberry McKissick, who created Mia Online, the first in my mind. It was the first one that I knew about 
of social networking sites for African American women in 2000. And then Lynn Johnson, who is just a dynamic, dynamic woman whose energy and her, um, her participation and work as the community director of FastCompany.com and senior editor really, really empowered me uh, to see another woman and another African American woman out there in the field of uh, the digital arena. So those are just some of the people that inspired me. There are plenty more. But what I'm doing now in the D.C. area is holding a Sisterhood of Blog focus groups. And I started in August and I will continue all the way through March of 2011. They're held once a month at the Martin Luther King Jr. Memorial Library. And I bring together a panel of diverse women on various topics from creative women to women who work in uh, the holistic arts to women who are working in the nonprofit social justice and social entrepreneurial fields and beauty and fashion and entrepreneurs and techies and geeks and women who write about popular culture and the list goes on. So we come together and we discuss what is social media and how they're using it to further their passion. And it allows the, um, the DC metropolitan area to come and learn and ask questions and participate in the discussion. And at the same time, I gather research through video as well as photos and taking notes. And I have everybody complete a survey, which I'm asking if you are a woman and you have been involved in the internet and or social media, please click on the Survey Monkey link and complete the survey because that would help me greatly in my research. So how can you help me even more? Well, you heard me mention that I'm doing a fundraiser with Kickstarter.com. I'm raising $1,600 by next year. And you can contribute to this wonderful new book, Sisterhood the Blog, uh, Sound by Turn the 21st Century Women's Online Revolution, by making a kind donation of a dollar, five dollars, ten dollars, fifteen, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, a hundred, or more. And there are awards for all of these uh, donations that you make. So I'm giving something and you're receiving something. You're giving something to me and I'm being blessed. So it's a total circle of giving. And it is a fantastic social media experience that I'll be talking about in this new book. If you donate at least a dollar to my fabulous fundraising campaign, your name will be listed in the book as one of the uh, donors and supporters. So there are more gifts that you can get just from participating in this process. Please tell your friends and your family and your colleagues about my efforts. Every little bit helps. And for more information about me, go to www.anandalake.com. And Ananda is A-N-A-N-D-A-L-E-E-K-E.com. I'm on Twitter at Ananda Lake and if you look on the kickstarter.com site, you can find all of my other websites. Thank you so much, and you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.